What's up, blockchain gang? Today, we're going to take a closer look at the many different ways you can use the dodge ability in Mir 4. The dodge ability is believed to have originated in France, where the maneuver became known as le dodgeur. Now, before you click off this video in disgust because it is impossible to dodge something to death, and therefore not a chad move, let me remind you that your dodge is one of the most important abilities in the game. In even matches, it is often the sole decider of the outcome in PvP, notwithstanding absurd RNG. It has the lowest cooldown of any ability due to the spirit buffs I'll cover later. It costs zero resources, and when used correctly, will not only keep you alive longer, but also increase your damage. So let's do it. Ah, yeah. Ooh, ah. Oh, don't you know that's the sound of the man working on the chain. Yeah, yeah. Don't you know that's the sound of the man working on the chain. While it is possible to outright dodge some abilities by moving out of the blue area of effect indicator quickly, this is unreliable, partially due to ping and because once some abilities go off there is simply no way to dodge them, so it becomes more of a guessing game where if you guess wrong, you waste your dodge. This should not be seen as the best way to use your dodge, but more of a best case scenario when you're using your dodge for another purpose and you happen to also escape an incoming attack, killing two birds with one stone. The dodge is not only a defensive tool, but a great way to reposition yourself for a better offensive attack. If you're surrounded by enemies on all sides, for example, simply dodging in any direction will cause the enemies to funnel in a line in front of you so that you hit them all with your directional abilities. If the enemy is trying to flee and they are just out of your attack or ability range, you can use the dodge as a gap closer before they're able to sprint or air walk away. Of course, you can also use the dodge in this manner defensively if you're trying to get away from the enemy and get out of their attack range. Any damage you take while you're dodging is cut in half. This means that even if you're unable to dodge an ability to completion, it can still be a lifesaver. This is best used once you've seen that you've become debilitated, as you can be sure your opponent will try to bash you with the next ability. Here you can see that while mid-dodge, a critical attack does nearly 3000 damage, and once the dodge is done, the final attack is not a critical strike, but also does 3000 damage. Many abilities do rapid damage over time in an area of effect. If you are in the area of effect and start taking damage, you can reduce that damage received if you can escape before the attack finishes. However, some abilities will continue to damage you even when you're outside the area of effect. This may be a bug, a feature, or a latency issue caused by either player's high ping. If you are ever knocked down, it is possible to instantly recover by dodging. This is why it is usually better to wait for the eventual knockdown from a warrior or lancer and then dodge to recover immediately. This will allow you to get right back on the offensive or kite out the rest of their damage. Many times they will not expect the fast recovery and you'll end up dodging the follow up bash ability in the process. It is important to note that it is much harder to control the direction of your character while dodging this way especially if the knockdown also displaces or flings you such as the lancer's blitz strike. Remember, all characters have a dodge ability so try to anticipate when you will expect your opponent to dodge and track the cooldown. Anyone can use their dodge very easily to accomplish any one of these tasks but the very best will be accomplishing at least two with every dodge. There are two spirit pets that each have a 30% chance to instantly refresh your dodge ability as soon as you use it, giving you access to a second dodge. These are the rare three-tailed snow fox and the epic ninja kitty. I personally do not have both of these so I cannot test if they stack or not, but an ally who has both believes that they do. These are some of the best non-legendary pets in the game in my opinion when it comes to PvP and boss fights due to how resourceful that dodge ability can be. 
It is important that you learn not to mash your dodge ability when using these pets or it is possible to accidentally use the dodge multiple times when you did not intend to. The most dodges I have ever done in a row with a single pet is 5. That is all I have for you today in this video. This has been Danny Draghi. Let me know if you have any tips about dodging in Mirror 4 or content suggestions in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe so we can do this again sometime. Commander, do you think that we have any chance of surviving? I mean, you can't survive and ask me that question. I would ask him. Why? Because he's the one who believes in miracles. I believe in miracles. Since you came along, you sexy thing.